know we're back. Got uh, Mark Wisman and Ernesto Dominguez. I think they're in a 13th through 16th spot. We'll play down to three players. This is the 24th annual U.S. Bar Table Championships from the Westgate Casino in Las Vegas. And we're day two of the nine ball. Yep. Race to nine. And it looks like one ball. Looks like Mark got that one. Yep. We had some good matches here on the stream table yesterday. Had some Hill Hill yeah, matches. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we had a two set final in the den ball. We ended the night last night with a thrilling Hill Hill. Was that the one that Skyler lost? Yeah. yeah. James Arenas beat Skyler Woodward nine to eight. That kid plays good. I hadn't, you know, I'd heard about him, but I hadn't really seen him play. Yeah. James is. Well, I've seen Ernesto play a lot over the years. I don't really know Mark Wisman. I don't either. But he got this far in the tournament, so he must play pretty yeah, good. Yeah, he's a. Uh, I'd say he may be playing a little over his Fargo rate if he's this far in, but. Six forty-seven, yeah. But six forty-seven is a very capable player. Didn't get the wing ball. No, he's left the one a little tough. It doesn't pass the eight. Got a feeling we could see a safety in the opening yeah. game. I'm not sure if he's going to go for this one eight combo out of the gate. I, I well, don't he probably, think probably wouldn't have a shot on the one if he made it. Yeah. The cue balls First shot the of the line. match. There's no way I'm going for a full <laughs> length table combo. Well, and then the cue ball would go to the left anyway. He'd probably be blocked from the one. Yeah, if that was the nine there, it might. Yeah. yeah, this is the better. Don't give your opponent anything to get started yeah. on. Good safe. Especially Mark came in. I mean, he walked in about two minutes before match time, and I don't think he hit a ball. I don't remember seeing him out there on one of the other tables warming up. Well, it looks like he's got one kick. It's between the three and the seven. He's going to have to spin it a little bit because that three's. Spun it just a little too much. Yep. Well, the five ball is tied up with the six. I could break him up with the four ball. Could. Getting on the four is not going to be a. Yeah. Because the three's at the other end of the table. That's a pretty small window. So. You could break him up right now, but it probably wouldn't leave him a shot on the two. Got his angle to get back to where he is. Yep, he's looking at trying to get right on that bottom rail. Yeah, he has to get just almost on the rail. That nine ball's right in the way there. Yeah, it's 
going to land okay. Whoop. I thought it was going to come down further. I did too. I think he can still go rail first here though, so. I don't know if we're coming rail first, if he can miss that. Nah. No bank, the nine's in the way. It was a good save though. Just bank the four ball over in the neighborhood of the nine and send the cue ball to the middle of the table. Very left in oh, the edge. Yep, you went a little too far. If you'd have stopped at the middle of the table, that would have been a really good save. <laughs> He's got a natural breakout here if he just yeah. pockets the ball and yeah, this is ball. Those didn't yeah. land real good. The combo might be on, though. Yeah, it looks a little off angle, but he didn't get rewarded quite like he would have liked to. Well, if you can just pocket this eight ball, the five's going to travel to the upper right corner, and the cue ball stopped right there. Just like that. And if it went, he would have been fine on the six, and if yeah. not, he's fine on the three. Yeah, it looks like Ernesto is going to open up our scoring in this match. careful. Oh, he's going to catch the side rail. I don't think he wanted to get that close. No, huh? no. Okay. The day is officially underway. Ernesto strikes first blood, one to nothing in a race to nine. I'm Bill Stock here with Brett Baker. A shout out to our sponsors, Q Sports International. Bad Boys Billiard Productions, Cyclop Pool Balls, Simonis Cloth. I'm missing all oh, the magic, magic, ball magic Ball Rack. Can't pull off events like this without your sponsors. Nope. Lucky over here, no, flipping the scorecards for us. I just something. Those <laughs> scorecards should be turned around the other way so you flip them forward rather than reaching from behind. And yeah. Forward. Look out. Well, well he, can balls see, down. he can see the two, but I don't think he can Boy, make that's it. That's tight. I don't think he can see it to the pocket. He needs that left edge, and the seven is just out there enough. <laughs> Maybe he can spin it in. I'm not sure. Eesh. That two ball's quite a ways behind that seven. That's... Yeah, he's shooting to the outside of the two. It looks like he's going to play a safe. Don't double kiss. Oh. Well, left an easy safe. Yeah, he's just going to make sure if he sticks it behind that seven that the two doesn't go cross mm -hmm. side. <laughs> could stick it or he could spin down underneath the nine too. That, that was well done. Mm -hmm. That'll work 
out pretty good. Yep. Looks like he's got it totally hooked. He could somehow kick into that two ball. He might be able to make the six, but that three ball sitting right in the way. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say the three looks like it's right where you need to be. But from my vantage point, yeah, that six looks like it's probably on. How do you get to it, though? Oh, it looks like he can see the two ball. I didn't think he could see it. But he could still make the six, yeah. Two didn't land real good. Well, yeah, that was a nice shot. It's makeable, though. No way to hold the cue ball for the side pocket. I may run into the eight here. No, oh, don't get behind oh, it. Look at that. Oh, man. That's just a bad roll. <laughs> it's yep, it's going. Thought he was going to go for his jump cue. He is. Yep. Get down to three players today in the nine ball, and we'll start. And the semi and the final will be tomorrow afternoon, and we'll start the eight ball division, which is the biggest division, at 10 a.m. tomorrow Pacific time. Good shot. Yeah, let's see. We're down to four players on the winner side in the nine ball now. Sure, you'll see those gentlemen in action later today. Yeah, the two two winners bracket matches are one of them's at four. Shane plays at four, and I don't know who his opponent is. And Mitch Ellerman. Mitch, that'll be an yeah. interesting one. And the oh. second one is at five thirty. Shane and Mitch played at the exact same spot in a ten ball in the oh, win, on they? the winner's side. Okay. Yeah, final four of the winner's side. Mitch is looking forward to a different result this mm -hmm. time. <laughs> and the other winner's side will be Amar Kang and James Arenas. And James Arenas is the one that defeated uh, Skyler yeah. last night. Yeah. yeah, I hadn't really seen him play. And it was a treat. He plays good. Is he Filipino? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen him here, I just haven't seen him play. Well, one to one, Mark ties it up and it's his break. Yeah, it's like, oh, I've never really seen him play. I sat down, he had an 801 Fargo right here. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. <laughs> wow, I guess he can play a little, huh? <laughs> yeah. At 25 and you're already Shit. at over 800. Wow. So that would make him the second highest rated player in the tournament. Yeah, Shane's at an 819, which is, I believe, number one in the world. Yeah. And Wu is right behind him, I think. Wu was number one. Yeah, for a long time. Until recently. Don't hear about him playing a whole lot, so I never know. Yeah. Mark's first break, he missed the wing ball by about a half a diamond, so I don't know if he's going to adjust his speed. Nope, same thing. Missed yeah, it by it's about a half a diamond. It's hitting, a, hitting about a half a diamond high. And he left Ernesto a similar shot, where he's got a shot on the one, but there's no pocket. Boy, they are so spread. <laughs> yeah. Like and Ernesto played a safe in the first Ernesto, game. Ernesto, Ernesto's thinking, I wish you could leave the cue ball <laughs> in the middle of the table like you're supposed to. Hmm. Yeah. 
Looks like I'll put him down here on the bottom rail. And another good shot. He can see the edge, I think. Yeah, he can see the edge, but... Can't really do much. That edge send him right towards the corner pocket, so he's going to have to be careful with this. I think Mark was asking Ernesto if he got a rail. Yeah, the, the cue ball, cue ball did. Rail. Yeah, the cue ball did. Good shot. That yeah, was... Very nice. Well, what do you do here? Do you try to sp go off side rail and spin backwards, or do you maybe try to jump over the three off the side rail? Oh, I was going to say jump over the three. <laughs> it's frozen. No, to I it. mean go to the rail and jump. Um, yeah, they're both. <laughs> That's about your only two choices. Yeah. I'm not sure if he can spin it back enough. Let's see, guys have a whole lot of success with the jumping off the rail. But no, but if you're desperate, I mean, yeah. you got really nothing I else. I think that might be what I would try here. Well, the way he's looking is like he's going to spin. Oh, no, he's going to He'll do a, use a little mass A on it. Nope. Yeah, didn't quite take. He was in a tough spot there. Well, he's got ball in hand one. He'll have to go all the way up for the two and then all the way back down for the three. Yeah, but they're all spread. Yeah, this is. You won't have to come all the way for the three, just as long as he stays in the middle of the table. Yeah, you want to okay, get in that window yeah. between the seven and nine. The three is pretty close to the pocket, so he can make it from long distance, no problem. Yeah, if you play it the safe way, make sure he's got a shot, leave it a little long instead of trying to come all the way down and maybe clipping a ball and getting in trouble. A little bit of insight on this. Go between the four and the yep. seven. Just draw straight back. In pretty good shape. Mark's going to take a 2-1 yep. lead here. And it's Ernesto's break. Well, we're back. 
got uh, Mark Wisman and Ernesto Dominguez. I think they're in the 13th through 16th spot. We'll play down to three players. This is the 24th annual U.S. Bar Table Championships from the Westgate Casino in Las Vegas. And we're day two of the nine ball. Yep. Race to nine. And it looks like one ball. Looks like Mark got that one. Yep. We had some good matches here on the stream table yesterday. Had some Hill Hill matches. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we two set final in the den ball. We ended the night last night with a thrilling Hill Hill. Was that the one that Skyler lost? Yeah. yeah. James Arenas beat Skyler Woodward nine to eight. That kid plays good. I hadn't, you know, I'd heard about him, but I hadn't really seen him play. Yeah. James is. Well, I've seen Ernesto play a lot over the years. I don't really know Mark Wisman. I don't either. But he got this far in the tournament, so he must play pretty yeah, good. Yeah, he's a. Uh, I'd say he may be playing a little over his Fargo rate if he's this far in, but. 647, yeah. But 647 is a very capable player. Well, he didn't get the wing ball. No, he's left the one a little tough. It doesn't pass the eight. Got a feeling we could see a safety in the opening yeah. here. I'm not sure if he's going to go for this one eight combo out of the gate. I, I well, don't he probably, think probably wouldn't have a shot on the one if he made it. Yeah. The cue ball's First shot of the left. match. There's no way I'm going for a full <laughs> length table combo. <laughs> Well, and then the cue ball would go to the left anyway. It'd probably be blocked from the one. Yeah, if that was the nine there, it might. Yeah. yeah, this is the better. Don't give your opponent anything to get started yeah. on. Good safe. Especially if Mark came in. I mean, he walked in about two minutes before match time, and I don't think he hit a ball. I don't remember seeing him out there on the, one of the other tables warming up. Well, it looks like he's got one kick. It's between the three and the seven. He's going to have to spin it a little bit because that three's. Yep. And he's going to go underneath spun it. Spun it just a little too much. Yep. Well, the five ball. It's tied up with the six. You could break them up with the four ball. Could. Getting on the four is not going to be a. Yeah. Because the three's at the other end of the table. That's a pretty small window. So. You could break them up right now, but it probably wouldn't leave them a shot on the two. Got his angle to get back to where he is. Yep, he's looking at trying to get right on that bottom rail. Yeah, he has to get just almost on the rail. That nine balls right in the way there. Yeah, 
it's going to land okay. Whoop. I thought it was going to come down further. I did too. I think he can still go rail first here though, so. I don't know if we're coming rail first, if he can miss that. Nah. Well, there's no bank. The nine's in the way. It was a good save, though. Just bank the four ball over in the neighborhood of the nine and send the cue ball to the middle of the table. He left him oh, the edge. Oh, yep, he went a little too far. If he'd have stopped at the middle of the table, that would have been a really good save. He's got a natural breakout here if he just yeah. pockets the ball. And yeah, this is. Ball. Boy, those yeah. didn't land real good. The combo might be on, though. Yeah, it looks a little off angle, but he didn't get rewarded quite like he would have liked to. Well, if you can just pocket this eight ball, the five's going to travel to the upper right corner and the cue ball stopped right there. Just like that. And if it went, he would have been fine on the six, and if yeah. not, he's fine on the three. Looks like Ernesto is going to open up our scoring in this match. Ooh, you better be careful. Oh, he's going to catch the side rail. I don't think he wanted to get that close. No, so. no. Okay. The day is officially underway. Nesto strikes first blood, one to nothing in a race to nine. I'm Bill Stock here with Brett Baker. A shout out to our sponsors, Q Sports International, Bad Boys Billiard Productions, Cyclop Pool Balls, Simonis Cloth. I'm missing all the magic, magic, ball, rack. magic ball rack. Can't pull off events like this without your sponsors. Nope. Yeah. yeah. That ended up what eight five, I think. Um. Yeah, I believe it was. Or nine, nine five. I mean. Nine five. Yeah. Jason did make a little bit of a a comeback. Well, three two now. You get down six nothing an alternating break though. It's pretty tough. It is tough. Yeah. And that's pretty much what happened is. Ernesto just ran out on his break. Well, 3-2 and Ernesto's breaking. Mark, I know he's sitting over there in the chair beating himself up internally on how could I possibly miss that three ball. Yeah. One thing I noticed with the top players is, boy, they they let that stuff go pretty quick, though. Yeah. And unless they lose the match, then they'll go back and uh, rehash it. But Wobbled the wing ball, but the one ball found the side pocket, and now he's hooked on the two. Yep. Cue ball came right in there behind the six. Well, where do you push to? Over by the four? Um... 
think so, yeah. Yeah. I might even just make the four. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I think if it was me here, I might bank the two ball back up the middle of the table. Bring the cue ball down to this end rail. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what he was doing there. I, think, I thought he would have banked it all the way up table. Yeah, I would have wanted to kind of get it a little, a little farther up. And all that two ball almost stopped and lined up the combo. Thought it was going to at first. <laughs> but the shape he gave Ernesto is just about it like ball in hand. Well, this is a little tricky. Yeah, he's a little straight here. He'll come two rails yeah. out of that corner. No, he didn't come far enough. Nope. Cue ball kind of died on him. He hit that high a lot of times. Yeah, and that could have happened real easy when the cute when the object ball was so close to the pocket like that. You're gonna get him behind the eight. It looks like yep. it. Yep. Yep. That's a really good. Took the long kick away which would be the ideal one if you wanted to try to make the ball. Kick well, the short way, you just hope you kick it to where it doesn't leave much. Looks like Ernesto just told him the four is froze, so that makes it a little tougher. Yeah, he's pretty much got to go one rail off yeah. the top rail there. So you'll probably have to hit this with a little speed to make sure the four gets it. Ooh, he missed it. Three, five's going to land right in front of the side pocket. Yep, I see Ernesto tying this match up. Perfect now to spin around three rails yeah. for the nine. He went long, just went two rails. You can tell he's played for years. Yeah. I mean, he just knows exactly where he needs to get. He doesn't doesn't take much time. Well, I would have gone three because there's less less chance of scratching that way. That's just me. Three to three. March yeah. break. Yeah, so much of this is personal preference. Mm -hmm. Yes, ten different players how to do a run out, and you'll get. In fact, somebody posted in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. You know had all the balls out there, what pattern would you shoot? <laughs> I mean, there must have been 50 different patterns.
Well, we'll see if he hits him with some speed again. Yep. That worked for him last time. Did uh, he, he got didn't a make? Ball. Uh, yep, he got a ball. He didn't make the corner ball, but he no shot. And the six ball just. Neither one of them are really getting a really good shot after a break. Ernesto has, I believe, once. Seen that quite a bit on this table. Last ball rolling will come up and mm -hmm. hook him. Boy, that. You can just barely see the edge of that one, but. You got this cluster down by the lower left corner here by the, with the. Yeah, and with four the. Four, five, and nine ball. If the four and five were reversed, it wouldn't be too bad of a deal, but. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you do? Do you. Pass it back, play a save, or he tried to bank the one into that three ball combo. Well, <laughs> bank. the eight kind of sticking out there. Well, that actually make it a four ball combo. A bank four yeah, ball combo. Yeah, that's what he's going for. He missed it. And he got safe. <laughs> <laughs> he flew at it, though. Well, there wasn't a whole lot of. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, at this level, you don't see them flying at stuff like that too often, but there wasn't a whole lot else no. to shoot at. And Mark better hit this one, and otherwise Ernesto will line that one up on the 5-4-9. I don't think the eight's in the way to play that combo. Ooh, he missed it. He went long. Yep. I bet Ernesto plays this combination. As long as he can get past the eight ball. Yep, he's walking. You don't have to hit much of that five ball. Looks fairly close. <laughs> well, you can play the one eight five four nine. Well, that's getting <laughs> crazy now. <Yeah. laughs> I think basically if you just hit the five, you can't miss it. Yep. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was a gift. Ernesto yep. takes his second lead of the match. And according to Fargo, he's 90% chance of winning this match from this spot. Seems a little high to me, but... Sometimes, yeah... During the match, some of those percentages seem a little high. <sighs> See that Billy Stefan was wearing our... Team Alaska yeah, shirt. Yeah, I noticed that too. Well, the Universal Team Gear shirts are pretty comfortable to yeah, play in. They really stuff, are, so. and they're very, very popular too. Nice break, nice spread. I had a friend. Got a friend. He's not a pool player. He's like, we were watching. It was Shane and Skyler on YouTube or something. Like, Why are these guys wearing bass fishing shirts? <laughs> what? <laughs> bass fishing shirts. <laughs> so we watch, we we switched over to a bass fishing video, and sure enough, all these guys are on a boat with the Universal Team Gear stuff. Yep. I'd say Universal Team Gear is doing quite well. It's I, it was a little slow getting out of the gate with them, but. Now everybody's wearing them. They're just very comfortable. Yeah, and these 
air conditioned casinos, you kind of have to wear an undershirt on them. They're pretty thin, but. Ernesto doesn't really have any roadblocks here. Any idea on how old Ernesto is? I believe he's like 62, 63. Is he okay? Yeah. Probably been playing for over 50 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, easily ran out there. Takes a 5 3 lead. He broke and ran that rock. Yeah, he applies a little pressure to Mark down. He's got to stay within striking distance. Yep. I asked Ernesto yesterday when he was going to retire. He said, got family to take care of. <laughs> and that's what it's all about with him, too. Is his oh, yeah. I was surprised that um, that Oscar's little girl, that was like three months old yesterday or day before, was uh, Ernesto's first grandchild. Because he's got other kids too. I was wondering how many other kids they had. I know there's at least one other boy. Okay. Yeah, he'll need to keep playing because grandkids are expensive. I can tell you that. <laughs> Ten of those things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, he didn't make the ball. Mark didn't make a ball and left Ernesto a good starter shot. Balls were spread. Dealing with the two and the three and the seven is probably the key to the rack here. And it looks like he's going to get on it okay. If he can hold that two in front of the side pocket. I think he can. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I don't really see any problems here. Mm. He might have wanted a little bit more angle there. Uh, let me go this follow straight down. I think he's going to draw it back between the yeah. five and the six. Ooh, he went all Boy, the way back. Yeah. And landed perfect. Well, let's just let the stroke out once, you know. Yeah. about perfect. And then he's going to take a pretty commanding six to three lead. And it'll be his break. Yep, he's now up six to three, and he has the break. And he's been breaking well. Only needing three more games, so. Yeah, Mark is definitely in trouble now.
Bling ball went straight in. And Savage is going to come screw him up. Oh, nope. Got past it. He's got a shot at the one. And tricky position on the two. I don't know if he can. Yeah, I don't. It looks like he. He's going to want to try to spin it into that seven. Wow, I don't know if he can spin it down that low. Yeah, I don't know either. He could definitely spin it to the eight, but you'd probably end That's up getting hooked if you do that. <coughs> maybe, maybe he can hit the seven. Oh, yeah. I mean, he hit it, but didn't really get rewarded, I don't think. That don't look like it. Don't know. He must be, oh, he's going to come off the bottom rail. Kick it safe. Yep. Uh, didn't nope. get there. Nope, he can make that in the side. In the side, he's got to get up for the four ball now. He's got just enough angle where he can spin yeah. with the inside and go towards the four. Got to be careful, though. It's easy to... Miss the ball. I was going to say, shooting this ball on the side, I might just roll to the rail. And yep, he didn't get far enough. Yeah, you got to really hit that one. Playing safe, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. No, he went right by the seven yeah. or the eight. Excuse me. Good shot. He's going to try to hold the cue ball or come across. Just down that corner. I'm, mm. I'm not understanding that shot. I think he was going to try to go to the side rail, but. Sure drew it. Oh, you know what? I was thinking the seven was a six. Okay, oh. now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark's got to feel fortunate that he's got an opportunity to yeah. win this game. Yeah, and it's a game on Ernesto's break, so he'll get one of them back if he completes these two. Mm -hmm. Okay, six to four. It's Mark's break.
brick a little bit harder. They smash that pretty good. Just not breaking consistent on this table for either of them. Yeah. Although Ernesto's had a little bit better luck with it. Make the one on the side, but he's going to be seven's in a funny spot. He tries to roll the one in. For, it's kind of hold for the two. He might float. You going to play that in the hole? Mm, or? I think he was trying to. But he hit it a little bit harder. Yeah. He's pretty straight on this two, and he's yeah. going all the way back down here for the three. Yeah. To play a combo. Well, looks like he's gonna go forward. Play the three yep. six. Where's the three going after? <laughs> it's gonna go over on that side rail, so. See, it's a two full. Yep, just a little too full. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. That's about perfect. Let's come off that side rail, and get past the seven. Oh, he's going to come all the way down. Okay. Yeah, it went a little further than he wanted. Thank you. Yeah, by his expression, which is the only expression <laughs> other than his normal one that we've seen today, he's, he's going to play it in the side. Probably have to go up and down. Mm, definitely. Oh, and he hit the points. Well, that's a, that's a game changer. Yep. Big difference between seven four and six five. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my another one of those worrying so much about the cue ball. Yep. He got a little fortunate though. Yeah, he's he didn't <laughs> sell out. I don't know if the seven banks past the nine or not. Might have a half a pocket. Yeah, but how do you get your cue ball yeah. back down here? Because you'd have to hit that seven pretty full. Wow, look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> I think maybe he's played a little one pocket. <laughs> Wow. That was a great shot. That was. Just slice the number right off of yeah. it. <laughs> man, oh man. 
can't appreciate That'll, how good that shot was. That'll make you clench your butt cheeks if you're sitting <laughs> in the opponent's chair like, oh. Yeah. Mark's sitting there, are you kidding me? <laughs> Seven, four, and the break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy good. We got a referee in the house. I see. Yeah, I see a stick in the air, too. Oh, yeah, I see Dwayne just sitting over there like sleeping in his chair. Yeah, he's over by Jude, yeah. I guess him and Jude are best buddies now. So. <laughs> <laughs> well. Balls are open, shot on the one, two's right there, three's right by the side pocket. Yep, Everything's I'd say, lined uh, up pretty good. I'd say pretty good chance we're going to see Ernesto reach the yep. hill. He's not going to have to move his cue ball very far on any of his shots. I this is a dream layout right here, actually. Just, just about. Are there, Ernesto? He'll be fine. He'll use inside here, I guess, to get straight on the three. No, he went around. Okay. Every time I guess which way somebody's going to go, they always do the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I play it in my head like I think I would play it, which apparently is wrong. Well, so. and it's funny, is even when I. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched myself play, and it's like, all right, I'll just do what in the world did I, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh. Well, you know, that's why they're there and we're here. Yep, that's pretty much was a no stress run out there. Yeah, yeah I think his. Those going to the hill. Pocket this nine, his. Heart rate will jump from 38 to 39 beats a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, and it's his Fargo percentile is going to go up to 99%. 99 yep. Yep. So you say there's a chance. <laughs> Seen stranger things happen. Oh yeah. In this tournament. <laughs> I don't remember. This was years ago. This is probably eighty five or eighty six when they had the Reno opens in at the Sands in Reno, the big pro tournaments yep. where all the champions used to go to. Love those tournaments. I don't remember. I'm wanting to say it was uh, Alan Hopkins and Grady Matthews. And I don't I think it was great. He was ahead 10 and nothing in a race to 11. These were on nine foot tables. And Alan Hopkins came back and won 11 games in a row. Wow. I think I got the two players right and the, the which way it was set <laughs> right. But it was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, yeah so I yes, saw Keith there, McCready. There is a chance. <laughs> I saw Keith McCready do something pretty similar to that to uh, Ismael Paez in those tournaments too. It was like he was way down. I don't think it was that far down, but it's like ten to two or something. He come back and. Well, how do you like this? This is my story. It's a true story. Playing in the finals of a one pocket tournament up in Alaska with. Probably the guy I was playing in finals, him and I were considered the two best at that time. We're racing to four in one pocket. And I am ahead of him three games to zero and seven balls to minus one. <laughs> and I lost the tournament. Wow. That is a true story. So, yes, there is a chance. Yes. <laughs> 
saw Ike Reynolds do that at Derby City. Guy goes, oh, that match is over. And I said, what's the score? And he goes, and they're racing to three. And I said, you know, Ike's down two to nothing and seven to nothing in ball count. And I go, oh, he's got, I said, Ike's got him right where he wants him. And I said, that match is just getting started. <laughs> About three hours later, I comes over. Well, go looky. Yeah, talk about the ultimate grinder. Yeah, like, he is. Yeah. Haven't seen him since Derby. <laughs> no. I don't think he was. At I. I no, he was. He was. No, I don't think it was this year. He used to come out to this tournament when we were in Reno. But he'd always complain, oh, I can't hang with these run out, yeah. these young run out players. I'm old, I can't see. He plays with one eye, you know. Well, Mark's not going to give up. No, no, he he did what he had to do. Held his serve in hopes that Ernesto his serve. stubs his toe. Yep, now you just got to sit and hope, pray. Sell your soul, something, you know. Mm. <laughs> Get another shot. And his chances of winning this match have skyrocketed to 2%. Yep. Say I saw a match earlier, and it was like a 98 percent, and the guy looked, and I think it was Shane and Skyler. Made a ball. I can see the one. Yeah, he doesn't have. Probably it might uh, bank. It might bank in the side. Yeah, I and the two sitting right yeah. there, so. I got a feeling being up eight to five, he will bank this one to the side. shot it's a test yeah he put the cue ball right in the middle yep. of the top rail and uh it'll definitely test your nerves on this shot yeah these these get a little tougher when your opponent's on the hill yeah that's a tough shot and that's gonna be all she wrote probably Holy moly. What the heck? It's not the way uh, he I thought he was going to play. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I know what he's trying. trying. Well, he's, he's trying to go back and forth, straight yeah, back and forth. Yeah, I know he's forth. trying to make Brett look bad. Here's what he's <laughs> trying to do. <laughs> That's right. You guaranteed he was out, didn't you? <laughs> I was bringing in the fat lady. where you got to be careful though you you do an event like this where the, the pool is really high level and then it's like the next live streaming we do will be like an amateur event mm -hmm. like okay they got ball in hand on the eight ball you know? <laughs> and you don't want to go out on a limb Looks like that's all she wrote. 
Ernesto is uh, having a good showing in this tournament. Yep, he's moving on. All right, well, we will be back in about 23 minutes for our 2.30 Pacific time match. Don't recall who it is, but it's going to be two good players. So <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs>